guys, it's Jessie V. And today we're gonna be talking about something that really, really creeps me out, mannequins. There is a house in New York that has moving mannequins on its porch. And not only does it have these very creepy statues hanging around, it also has a very dark and disturbing history. Before I jump into today's video, I just wanna give you one last reminder about this month's backdrop. If you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and the second thing you have to do is download my new game. It's called Jesse V's Monster Chat. In this game, you're helping me solve a monster murder mystery. It is so much fun. It is free to play, free to download. So I'm gonna put a link to download in the description and also as a pinned comment. And when I choose you to win this backdrop, I'm going to be asking you who the murderer is. So make sure you play the game all the way through because that's like your secret password to getting this backdrop. Do not comment it down below because we don't wanna spoil it for anybody else, make sure you keep it to yourself until I ask you if you win. So yeah, download link down below. I hope you guys enjoy this game. It is so much fun. It was so fun to make. By the way, if I sound stuffed up, it's because I am. I have been sick for the past week and I can't breathe out of my nose. So sorry about that. Okay, so let's talk about the history of this house first. John Lawson built this house in 1845 and it sits at 9A Main Street in New Hamburg, New York, near the Hudson River. It's currently considered to be one of the oldest oldest homes in the area. And since its construction, many tragic events have occurred around it. The first event happened on February 6th of 1871, when a southbound train traveling through New Hamburg broke an axle, jumped the tracks, and collided with a northbound passenger train headed for Albany. Now, this southbound train was carrying a ton of oil barrels, and they all ignited after the trains collided. So this huge fire killed 22 passengers. And this violent accident occurred just 200 feet from the John Lawson house. And then the next tragic event happened in 1877, only six years after the first event. On May 3rd, a fire started in an alleyway near the house. A man walking by discovered the blaze and tried to stamp out the fire. He was trying his best to help, but it didn't stop it and the fire spread to a nearby store and then there was a sudden violent explosion uncontrollable flames raced through the building and alarms sounded and the fire grew so rapidly that it destroyed seven structures. And the John Lawson house was one of the only houses to survive the fire's aftermath. Some believe this fire was an accident, others speculate it was intentional. Either way, this case has remained unsolved. So let's talk about the mannequins and how they came into play. In the early 2000s, three mannequins mysteriously appeared on the front porch of the house and remained there for over a decade. And what's so creepy is that local tourists noticed that the mannequin's clothes would regularly change along with their wigs. And the clothes and hairstyles appeared to be from the early 20th century, particularly from the 1920s, 1930s. And the mannequins were also seen over the years holding a variety of props. Sometimes they would be posed as though they were reading books. Other times they were just holding different objects such as a bird box, a toolbox, an empty tea milk jug, weird stuff like that. One of the creepiest parts about this is that no one ever saw someone dress them or move them in all the 10 years they were there. It was like they were doing it all on their own. And obviously that's why people were so freaked out. Because locals and tourists were trying to make sense of the mannequins, an urban legend of sorts developed around their meaning. Some say that the spirits of those who lost their lives in the 1871 train crash began inhabiting these mannequins. So like their spirits went into them, which would explain why they moved around on a daily basis. Some have also noticed that two of the mannequins always looked out towards the site of the train crash, while the other was positioned towards an abandoned building thought to be part of the 1877 fire. So these mannequins always had their heads turned towards where the tragic events occurred, which is so eerie. And after spending more than a decade sitting out on the porch of this house, all all three mannequins suddenly disappeared in 2016. Although their departure seemed ominous to some, records show that the house was sold around that time and the former owners likely took the dolls with them when they left. And since then, there have been no reports of any dolls or any unusual activity surrounding that house or on the porch of that house. And people aren't sure if they should be relieved or if they actually miss the presence of those mannequins being there. So I just find this to be so creepy, the fact that there was mannequins out for 
10 years and because of the really weird history, sad history behind it. I mean, if someone was moving these mannequins every single day, giving them different poses, different outfits, different wigs, that is a lot of work. So good job on them. And the fact that no one ever caught them in those 10 years, that is crazy. Anyways though guys, if you like me doing videos on strange things that happen in the world, especially to do with dolls or mannequins, give this video a thumbs up and let me know because I will make more. And don't forget to check out the link down below to download Jessie V's monster chat to enter to win this backdrop. But I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, I am so excited to announce that I have been working on a virtual home for all of you guys watching right now, all of my amazing V team. It's a place that we can talk about all of the strange and unusual things that are happening in the world. And I'm giving early access to the first 500 people that join on February 12th at 5 p.m. EST. So sign up at jessiev.world.co to join the waiting list. And the first 500 people get an exclusive wearable. Are you ready to find out what it is? Button eyes. So check out the link down below to join the waiting list.